Hello everyone and welcome back to some Undertale. So we are here at Toriel's home where I don't know what we're gonna do here. Um, but yeah, last time we explored a little bit farther and we finally got to Toriel. We met Toriel again and uh, we're back at our house now. It's pretty spooky. And uh, she gave us a room and she was baking us some pudding and whatnot. So yeah, so today we're going to explore Toriel's, room, or Toriel's house in our room and see if there's anything to see. So, there's a bed, I think. We slept in that last time. There's some um, an empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Okay. Lamps. Okay, cool, cool. There's not much in our room. Let's keep going down here. Maybe there's something in this uh, flower, or that, uh, what's it called? Cabinet. Okay, are these going to be locked? Oh no, they're open. Okay. I thought they might be locked. Uh, oh no, it's Toriel's diary. So this is Toriel's room. Read the circled passage. Oh jeez. This might be like the decider of everything, wouldn't it? This might be like whether Toriel loves us or hates us. Well, it might, mm, she might not know, so let's just do it. And if she ever mentions anything about it, maybe, maybe she wants to eat us. Who knows? Maybe she wants to kill us and eat us. So maybe it might be important. Uh, you read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Well, that was anticlimactic. Okay. <laughs> oh, dang. That was such a bad pun, too. I peek inside. <laughs> Scandalous. It's Toriel Scott drawer. Nice. She's got a lot of books. She probably does a lot of reading in the underground here. Not, not really anything else. Do they have electricity? Hmm. That lamp was on. That's weird. Okay. Um, it's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> okay. Cool, I wonder if these are water sausages, these little, like, cactus-looking things. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> I, I actually, I really enjoy this game. This is a cool game so far. I like everything about it. Except for, like, tiny, just little mechanics about it. Okay. Uh, room under renovations. Okay. I wonder if she has more people that live here. Because, you know, if I live down here, there must be more people, right? Let's, uh, let's go over here. Let's, uh, let's go to the left over here and see... Oh, there's Toriel. Okay, we'll talk to her later, I think. So I feel like that's gonna engage some storyline. Okay, maybe I shouldn't go down here. It looks pretty spooky. Oh! I think you should play upstairs instead. Oh no, she just takes me back. <laughs> well, that's weird. She just takes me back. Okay, so I guess I can't go down there. I guess I have to go over here. Okay. Let's go talk to Toriel, see what she has to say about stuff. Um, up already, I see. Yeah, you just dragged me out of the other room that I was trying to go in. <laughs> but okay. Um, I want to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. Yeah, you have a lot of books. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've always prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've ar always wanted to be a teacher. Okay? Actually, perhaps... That isn't very surprising. Still. What's that fish you just made? You see that? She's like squinting. I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, do I want something? Can. When can I go home? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> uh, should I make it sad or just ignore it? Hmm. When can I go home? I want to find out if there's a way to get back home. What she says about that. What? This this is your home now. Oh god, well, that's creepy. Okay. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. That sounds boring. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Yeah, let's see how to exit the ruins. How do I exit the ruins? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Okay, she's just ignoring what I'm saying. She's trying to change the subject. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Yeah, I did, actually. Interesting. How to exit the ruins? Come on, we gotta keep pushing it. I have to do something. Stay here. Okay. 
Well then, she just completely ignored it again. So there must be a way she's probably gonna eat me, I swear. Look! Look, there's a kitchen right here. This is where she's gonna bake me in this oven. And then I'm gonna be in- this is a- this is a child right here. This pie. Right here that I'm circling with the mouse. That- that was a child. At one point, and now she's gonna eat it. She's already eaten. There's already a slice taken out of it. Oh god. See, let's look in the fridge. Maybe there's some children in there. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar. <gasps> you see? She's, she knows how to get out of here because there's a brand name chocolate bar. You see? There is a way out because if she has a brand name chocolate bar, then obviously she had to get it from somewhere. Unless it's just really, really old. Or maybe it fell down the hole, but still. You think if it's in the fridge, she would uh, know where or eat it. Okay. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Yes, I do. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. Okay. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No! Why would you do that? No one will ever be able to leave again. Oh, well, that's bad. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Oh, no! Toro's actually, like, kind of mean. I thought she was nice. I'm going to keep following her. I don't want anyone to not leave the ruins because it's really creepy down here. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they score. We'll kill you. <laughs> Who's a, a score? Hmm, maybe he's a boss or something? I don't know. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. You're not my mom. You're not my mom. Hmm? You're not my mom. You're not my mom, Toriel. Hmm? Not tr do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. No, you're not my mom, Toriel, yet again. My mom is somewhere, <laughs> I don't know. You want to leave so you want to leave so badly. Hmm. You are just like the others. Yeah, I, I would assume that most people would not want to stay in your creepy house. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. <gasps> oh my god, am I gonna battle Toriel? Oh my god! I didn't know this would happen. Okay. Oh my god. How do I... I don't want to fight Toriel. Toriel blocks the way. Do I want to fight her? Okay, she says you have to prove that I'm strong enough. Right? So... Let's see what I can do with acting. I could talk. Let's talk. Let's let's just talk it out first. Always you gotta talk it out first. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, well I was gonna like convince her. Holy crap, she's OP. Holy balls. She's really good. Okay. Toriel looks through you. Okay. That was creepy. Uh, Let's just fight her and like show her how beefy we are. We're so beefy. Oh, jeez. She's got a lot of health. Oh, no. She's got a lot of health. She's got a lot of health there. She's got a lot of health there. I'm going to die. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Don't do it. Wait. If I... Will I kill her? Oh no, I don't know what to do actually, because I might- I don't want to kill her. I don't think. I'm gonna die actually, maybe she's supposed to be like really OP? Toriel looks through me. Okay. Let's just talk about it, man. Let's just talk about it. Please don't hurt me. I try to think of something to say again, but... Oh no. Oh, that is really hard! I might just be really bad, but who knows. Toriel looks through you. Can I use an item? Can I use my stick? Or my pie? Oh, maybe I can heal with my pie. I did! Yeah! My XP was ma maxed out. Okay, I'm getting a bit better at this. It's kind of patternized. But I'm using my left hand for the keys, so it's a bit harder. Uh, she looks through me. Okay. I guess we just have to fight her. She, Because she said, prove how strong you are, right? So, you think that would mean... I think that would mean, uh, try to, like, kill her, basically. It's acting aloof. Well, I don't know what aloof means. So I guess maybe that's good. Maybe I'm, like, making her change her mind. She looks through me. Okay, that one fight was, like... Maybe I was supposed to have the pie? Yeah, like, that's the point of having the pie. So, like, when you battle Toriel or something, she's acting aloof. Okay, let's hopefully not die. Because I do not want to do this battle again. She's really OP! Oh no. 
Six health. Crap. Hopefully, we don't want to kill her, right? So, like, how like how are you supposed to escape that? How are you supposed to? How are you? How are you supposed to do that? She keeps looking through me. Okay, hopefully, I can get like a crit on her or something. I don't know. Please don't hurt me. Oh yes, that's the. Oh no. I was gonna say that's the secret. Prepares a magical attack. Don't do it. Oh yeah, right in the middle. Crit. Thirty-four. Oh, it's really hard because it's like the same but different. I don't want to kill her though. Oh no, I feel like I'm really bad. Okay, let's uh talk to her again. Talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Okay, yeah, it's basically telling me that I need to fight her. I, I think. I think that's what that means. I only have two health left. I'm so dumb. I'm so, I'm so screwed. Maybe I'm supposed to lose this battle. Like, I don't... Look, it's all missing. All the things are missing me. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Does that? Oh, get wrecked. Three hundred and one. What was that? Did I just like homie homie harder in the face? What? Okay. Uh, you are strong. Stronger than I thought. Stronger than I thought too. I thought I was a nub. I I actually have two health left, and I I, I thought I I thought I was done for. Apparently, you know, I won. I, got, I did 304 damage, apparently. Uh, listen to me, small one. If you are if you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. <gasps> she was lying. There is an exit. Now she's, like, sad. Asgore! Do not let Asgore take you, take your soul. Oh, God. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. I wonder what his plan is. It's probably to kill everyone. Be good. Won't you? Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll try, I think. My, ch my child. I'm not your child, but okay. Fair enough. Oh god, did I just kill her? Crap. Oh crap. Was I supposed to do that? Um, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Oh no, was that a mistake? Crap. Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> was I supposed to kill her? Maybe she'll come back. Oh, now I feel really bad though, because she made me butterscotch pie and whatnot. Oh no, I feel really bad now. Oh no. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. Was I supposed to do that, or was I supposed to like... Talk to her a bunch? Oh no. Not this again. Hello? Hee hee hee. I hope you like your choice. Oh no. Did I lose? After all, it's not like as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> that old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it... <laughs> oh no! He's all creepy now. She couldn't even save herself. <gasps> what an idiot! Please don't hurt me. I only have two health. <gasps> oh god. Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, there's a door here. Okay. Oh no. What did I. What have I done? Oh, that just gave me shivers. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Oh no, I was not supposed to do that. I was not supposed to do that. <laughs> was I supposed to do that? Oh. What? This is the end. I made a beef steak. I'm gonna keep this in, but still. I'll, 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 I'll maybe continue from that last save? Where am I going? Am I just gonna fall back down the hole again? That'd be so bad. Where am I going? Oh no! Uh, I'm like above ground now, I think. Maybe this was supposed to happen? Prob. There's a bridge. Oh, there's a mysterious figure. <laughs> that looks like, um. 
I don't know. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Why is he so slow? How, what was that button to speed it up? I'll never remember. Whatever. Turn around and shake my hand. Well, that's creepy. Hello? Who are you? Okay, should I shake it? <gasps> Who's that? It's a skeleton guy. Hello? <laughs> okay, what should his voice be? Uh, he looks kind of derp. Okay, we'll give him this voice. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Oh, that's what that was. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. Why is that so funny? I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. Oh, I get it. Comic Sans. Yeah, that's, that's hilarious. I'm actually supposed to be on a watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother. Papyrus. Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering about that. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. That looks like a person. Doesn't that look like a person? No. Oh. <laughs> no, it's just a conven conveniently shaped lamp. What's up, bro? <laughs> oh no. What should I name him? What Which voice should I do for pa uh, Papyrus? Uh... You know what? Sup, brother? I'll do this. It's been eight days and you still haven't recollaborated re your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? This voice is going to change every time I do this, by the way. Because <laughs> I can never remember the same voice. Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? Oh, I already forgot it. I already forgot his voice. Crap. No. No. I don't want to. I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe th this lamp will help you. Sans. Sans. I can't do it. I keep forgetting it. Sans, are you help not helping me, you lazy bones? All you do is sit and b boondoggle. <laughs> you get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. Skeleton. <laughs> These puns are so bad, <laughs> Winks. <laughs> <laughs> These puns, oh my god. My hands. Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Oh god, so bad. <laughs> uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more. Backbone into it. <laughs> Lee. Oh, it's so bad. That's a really conveniently placed lamp. Hey. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Wow. That was amazing. Okay. Well, I guess we'll leave it here for today. We met Sans and Papyrus, the two skeleton dudes. This guy's pretty cool, I guess. He's got some cool puns, you know. I like his puns. They're pretty cool. And, um, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Undertale. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, next time I guess we'll keep exploring and find out more about these weird guys. And, uh, <laughs> I feel bad about killing Toriel. Oh no, I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not, but I guess, uh, I guess I'll find out once I upload this, huh? So, uh, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!